our up close segment of NYP TV. My name is Olivia and today we are at Yen Wahang Quail Farm to find out more about quail farming. Here with me is Uncle William. Hi, I'm Uncle William and welcome to my farm. Let me show you how quail is being farmed. Come. Let's go. I am the youngest son of the oldest farmer in Singapore, so my dad started farming since 1954. So if I do not continue his legacy, then all his effort will be a waste. So that's how I become a farmer. So this is the nursery shed where baby quail chicks like this stay about six weeks before they become adult quails. What are the conditions that they live in? Okay, basically the quail chicks are very young, so we have to actually put them into this uh, wooden box here we call the brooder, where we use the heat of the light bulb to give them warmth. My dad asked me to take over and then, then condition I told my dad that I do not want to do chicken farming. So I asked for the divine direction. So when I was reading the Bible, in the book of Exodus chapter 16, uh, then it, it shows say quail and manna. And quail, yeah, it's a sort of chicken, uh, the bird, but nobody eats. Then I said, no, I cannot be. So I flip, 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 comes to Numbers 11, again quail and manna. I said, okay, I got you, so it's quail. Then I do a study, then I realised that Quail life cycle is very fast. The meat is very nice. I also check out whether it's nutritious. Yes, according to Chinese medicine book, it's the ginseng of all animals, very good for the lung. So that's why I switched from chicken farming to quail farming. So, Uncle William, there's so many quails here. Could you help us differentiate which are the male and female quails? Okay, very simple. For this adult quail here, uh, what I have in my hand is a female quail. How do I know? We look at the chest feather. If the chest feather is there's a lot of black dot, this is a female. If it's completely brown, it's a male. Okay, you hold the female first. And now you can see that, see this feather here is all brown in color, there's no black dot. So this is a male, that is a female. Can you introduce quail eggs to us and the difference between quail eggs and chicken eggs? First of all, it's small. Okay, definitely quail is smaller than chicken egg. The distinguished patterns of the quail eggs is spotted, so quail egg can definitely be distinguished. In terms of nutritious wise, quail egg has at least three times more mineral, vitamin and protein than chicken eggs. And of course, in terms of cholesterol, it's only one fifth of chicken egg. So this is the production shed where all the female quails are gathered and they lay their eggs here. Okay, at the side, we have some freshly laid eggs. So Uncle William, what are these eggs for? Well, basically this is uh, the unfertilized egg which we sell to the supermarket and the market for Singaporeans to buy and eat. The unfertilized egg we'll keep for ourselves where we'll incubate the eggs in the incubator sheds. So this is where the eggs will be packed. Yes. And Uncle William, can you tell us how do you sort the eggs? Okay, basically this is the packing station. So uh, when the eggs comes up from the production sheds, then they will be sorted into their grades. So the eggs are checked for breakage. If there's no breakage, then we'll put in the eggs into the packaging. Each pack that's 15. So once you have a full 15, then you close it. And voila! What are your hopes for the quail farm? I hope to find investors to come in to join me. But to get an investor is like finding a needle in a haystack. So if I really cannot find it within three years, then I might retire from the farming arena. Besides the farm, my next love will be talking to children and then sharing what I have learned and then imparting them the first-hand knowledge. Now. That definitely I will continue. So thank you very much Uncle William for sharing so much with us. I'm sure I learned a lot about quail eggs and the farm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.